What is up, guys? It's your boy Dre back it again with another episode of the Sound Thinker One. This is episode three. Right before we do get started, I want to thank you guys so much for the support recently. The views have gone up in this new series, and I, I hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. And at the time of recording, you guys are all close to that like goal of 10 likes. So I'm gonna go ahead and up it just a little bit because I believe we'll get there by the time I'm done recording this. Um, the like goal now will be 12 likes. So make sure you smash the like button because we want to reach those 12 likes. Make sure you guys know where the like button is exactly. One last time, if you guys are new, make sure you click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell get notified anytime we do post. There's gonna be a lot of new viewers. There's a lot of new viewers already, and we're only three episodes in. So make sure you stay tuned because I have a lot of content ready for you guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the episode. Okay, so last episode, right before we get into the transfer delays and everything, I want to go over the fixture so we did play my united and we lost four now we got absolutely whooped by my united we did beat whole city in a sim game in penalties and we did draw to newcastle 1-1 one, one. if you guys did not check it out hudson adoy scored an absolute banger by the way if you guys have not seen any of the episodes this is your first video watching go definitely to episode one because you guys missed out a couple of signings which it's hudson adoy obviously and sam johnstone in goal but there's a lot of things you guys have missed so make sure to go check those out but in today's episode actually i saw a very interesting comment that was commented in the first uh video like in the very first episode which was to sign obviously a player well I, i'm not I, not obviously because i'm not gonna show it to you guys but it was to basically sign a player that is now used by liverpool and the reason i found that interesting because southampton historically are made fun of and well known to being uh liverpool's youth academy so i think this is very interesting to try to trade up a little bit so i'm gonna look at some players that don't play for liverpool in real life to Gino Minamino, I don't want him here at the club. Preferably a cam, but I'm not sure if they have very low squad depth. So maybe someone like Oxley, we could bring him back. Would be interesting. Someone who basically doesn't play at all for Liverpool. Who's just sitting on the bench. And I, I, like I said, I think it would be very, very interesting. Because like I would like to switch the role. So I think the only player is Oxley chamberlain So we might sign him. Because like I said, we do need a creative player. But realistically, I don't think we can. Because of our transfer budget. So we might not even try uh, transfer anyone in this episode. I'm going to go ahead and take a look regardless maybe we can sign someone for that camp position some some of you did say to swap armstrong for uh turnbull personally i do like that deal but i want to give Stuart armstrong a chance i never get to use him in any career mode and i want to give him a chance and he started off really well another suggestion was for billy gilmore which for the record we cannot sign at the moment because he is out on loan but maybe next season now that i'm looking at billy gilmore i am thinking of a player who's been linked to something in the past and it's ruben of this chick so he is a right mid oh he's out on loan oh. I was really hoping to use this cheek in this career mode at camp position maybe, but I'm gonna go ahead and look for some transfer targets because I really do think we need that camp position guaranteed. So I'm gonna go ahead and look around. Okay, right in front of me, I think I have the perfect player. So look, you guys may not know about Jacob Ramsey, neither do I. I've used him in a past FIFA in an offline career mode and like I've seen a couple highlights about him and I think he has a lot of potential. He's been getting a lot of minutes in real life ever since Jack Grealish left and Buendia has been in and out of the side, I do believe. But Jacob Ramsey is an interesting signing because even if he doesn't uh, like he doesn't do well, he doesn't have a high potential. So we'll probably get a profit anyways. And we'll basically just sign him instead of, of David Turnbull because Turnbull would take all of our money. And I kind of want to save some for January if possible. So I know he's around. I had to look at this whole FIFA because we don't have enough time to scout because it's already three days to the transfer deadline day. So Jacob Ramsey is a very interesting signing, like I said. Don't know much about him and i've been really hyped to use him in fifa because i know especially now he's been playing a lot in real life so i'm gonna go to try offer shane long because we still have him in the side and he's like i said he's around three million so we're gonna offer three million just his value valuation around there see if they say yes trying to get shane long off the wage bills and they still want will smallbone so no i, I actually want to keep will smallbone i think he has a bright future here in the side so i'm gonna put straight away three million they didn't want shane long and that's the only other player i'm willing to offer and what do they say they say yes with a 3% sellout clause. So, you guys may not be a big fan of this signing. I know, like, I've, all of my signings, you guys have not suggested at all. And I'm sorry, it's because it hasn't been able to, like, it hasn't turned out the way it has. You guys have been leaving some um, signings which are way out of price budget that we cannot afford. Sadly, we couldn't sign Noah Lang. I'm still gutted about that. But maybe we could use him in the future. But I think Jacob Ramsey will be a good backup to Stuart Armstrong. And if uh, Stuart Armstrong does lack um, some creativity, by the way, I didn't check how much his wages. <sighs> This is a disaster. Okay. I, I, I may overpay him with 30k 30k wages. But yeah, he accepts. That may have been an overpayment. But we do sign Jacob Ramsey. He is 68 rated. Can play a cam and center mid. And I think, like I said, I think he's the perfect signing. Um, He's a youngster. We do have Elianusi playing there in the second team. But 
Elianusi. I'm not a big fan, but I think I'm going to move Elianusi. Let's see, what can we do here? How can we do this? In the second team, Jacob Ramsey will play at center mid. Moving Diallo to the bench, I think that's what I want to do. I don't know if I'm a big fan of Diallo. I have to take off someone because now we have, we're have we in a big position where we have one player not playing at all. And who is it going to be? Who are, what are we going to do? So, at the moment, we're going to leave Diallo in the bench. Let's see, maybe we might get rid of Elianusi. I know he's been in great form. But he's had his chance. He's had his chances and he hasn't fit the bill. By the way, I didn't transfer this to Walker. I don't want him here at the club. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to Elianusi. And that's not transfer listing. We're going to transfer this to Elianusi. And we're going to put uh, Diallo back in the side. Because I believe he still has a chance here. And we're going to give Jacob Ramsey the number 20. And we're going to Oh, that's not development plan. I'm sorry. I'm messing up a lot. We're giving him the development plan. Let's see. What does he need? Probably the skill moves. We know the skill moves up. We're going to go put Dynamo at least for four star skill moves. But we do have a brand new signing in Jacob Ramsey for a steal of. 3 million pounds almost on deadline day but anyways let's go ahead and go to deadline day and see if we get any offers for any of our players right before we do get on to the deadline day i do want to show you guys the brand new final objective so i was expecting to not have any because like when i uploaded the video i'm like okay what if they don't leave final objectives i'm like okay i need to think of my own but you guys actually did impress me you guys did come through and suggest some fan objectives. so here on the screen we do have four fan objectives uh one one by me and three suggested in the discord i did want to leave one more uh, number five, I want to do five fan objectives for anyone in the YouTube comments. I'm not taking any more Discord suggestions, just purely YouTube comments. So first of all, was suggested by a fellow Discord member by the name of Lasko. He did suggest out with the old, in with the new. Basically, it is beat Danny Yang's record of 22 goals in a season with Adam Armstrong. And obviously, at the moment, he has one goal at, out of 22. And for the second fan objective, is from a loyal viewer by the name of Crystal. He did name it Captain Passer, which is... He did suggest a little bit higher, but I did lower it just a little bit because we're struggling a little bit more. But if any of these are too easy for us, we'll obviously up them throughout the season because like we're still working out on Legendary and you guys see how I got whooped by my United. I tied to Everton in Newcastle. So basically it is get 12 assists with JWP, our captain, James Ward-Prowse. He does have one out of 12 assists. Number three, personally my favorite, mainly because of the name and I made it, but obviously it says right there, Adroit. Don't tell him me to bench him. So I don't know what I, I think I'm funny. I'm not funny at all. Don't tell him to be, don't tell him me to bench him is a fan objective of Nate Teller. Get 10 plus goal contributions with Nate Teller. He has zero out of ten. And for number four, again, once again by Lasko, who it was kind of a last minute right before I recorded this. I did decide to put this in and it's double trouble. Basically, have both Armstrongs contribute seven goals between each other. So either uh Stuart Armstrong uh assist to uh Adam Armstrong or the other way around as long as it's seven goals it, he did say five but i think five is achievable so i pushed it just a little bit more with seven and i don't know that's basically it so that's it for the fan objectives i do want one more if possible so if anyone in the youtube comments i'm not taking any more discord comments like i said in the youtube comments because i want to get you guys more active in the youtube comments uh, especially the new viewers a lot of you guys are like our new viewers like i said because my uh, regular viewership was like around 20 in fifa 21 so i know this is definitely a lot of new viewers so don't be afraid i don't buy leave down in the comments that fifth fan objective okay it is deadline day and like i said we have transfer listed shane long elianusi and the walker so they might not even leave the squad i just want to run you guys through the top deals 92.9 million for diaby to leicester city that's absolutely crazy i i think that's way too overpriced but anyways uh lucas hernandez i do believe to psg 90.6 million from byron and richarlison to tottenham for 75 million which i do believe is a great signing Okay, as you guys saw, that is the end of the transfer deadline day. Absolutely no offers came in for Elianusi or Theo Walker. And I was going to run you through our signings, but I accidentally clicked A. So I'll go ahead and go to the other menu, which now is available since I think FIFA 20, I do believe. Where is it? Transfer history. There we go. We're going to go to our club. So a 3 million signing for Jacob Ramsey on a 4 or 5 year deal, I do believe. Uh, for 3 million, like I said, from Aston Villa. Hudson Odoi for only 23 million plus Redmond, which is basically zero dollars because redman is absolute trash we did loan out, loan out simeu i do believe i didn't show this there's uh, some loan offers that i just ignored and i basically didn't have to show you guys because it's just a loan offer and harry lewis as well going out to loan to malmo and obviously our first signing was sam johnstone from west brown a million plus mccarthy so i think we had a pretty good transfer window spending around 34 million which is not too bad that's basically almost all of our budget we did have some left over which is pretty good because we did get rid of redman and his wages but Moving on to now, we do have a youth squad report, and obviously we still have these three players. You guys said to send Menendez when he's old enough. White House is still not good enough in my opinion, so we're going to keep him there just a little bit. And looking at the new players, any new young talents that we may have is coming out of this famous Southampton Youth Academy. Ruben Daniels is a 1 million uh, valuation. Basically, I'm looking at potential and valuation because when they have a high value, 
they have a high overall, which is something that's more interesting than just potential because somebody could be have 94 potential but be only 45 rated, and we don't want that. So, Daniels, a 61 rated left wing back, which is a very good position because our left backs, I mean, Kyle Walker Peters and Parada are really good, but youth, like very, very youth wise, it's a really good person to have. We're gonna keep them there for now. And right before we do get on to the first game, I did forget to mention the player of the episode of last episode, which again, I'm sorry, I have to give it to him for a second time running. It is Sam Johnstone. Sam Johnstone, even though we did lose 4-0, had the best performance by all. I was going to give it to Hudson Adoy, but Hudson Adoy only played one game and really only scored that banger. That's pretty much it. So Sam Johnstone, once again, especially after that triple save against Newcastle, if you guys did not check that out, make sure you go check it out. But now we can go ahead finally get into the first game of the episode. Before we do get into that first game though, we do have the final position change for Hudson Odoi. I maybe could have just moved Armstrong back to the left wing like he did play in Blackburn last season. Well, sort of. But I want to switch it up a little bit, put Hudson Odoi on his left side, give him a little bit of uncomfortability. I think that's the word. Just make him comfortable that way he can get the best out of him. And want to give him a new, that's not, that's what am I doing? Uh, a new basically development plan. So what should we work on him? Probably his finishing. It is very low. So, I mean, he scored that banger, but it is very low finishing. But we do have our next game against West Ham coming up here. I think it's at home. We're going to do this training session. And if you guys weren't in the last episode, basically we're in 18th place in that relegation zone, which is very dangerous. We're probably just going to accept this McQueen offer because we don't want him here uh, either way. But before we do get into this game, I want to look at the fixtures for this episode. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to play all three games because the transfer dealings weren't that long. Oh, this Tottenham game too. No, I'll, I'll see how I'm doing on time by the Man City game. If not, I'll play these two games and then leave the next two games for the next episode because I want you guys now to decide now that the transfer deadline day is over to decide how you guys want me to play games. Do you guys want to see a whole month in episode? You want to play every game of the month in one episode or uh, like what I used to do in the West Ham, play three game, play half the games and send the other half. Let me know down in the comments, please. I really need to know because then I want to know what you guys want, especially because I don't want to make long videos like I used to when I first started. But anyways, now let's get on to our first game against West Ham. Like I said, we're at home this time. We did get, we haven't won at all in the season, not even at home, but we are in 18th place, like I said, and should we give Jacob Ramsey his debut from the start? Now nah, we're gonna we're gonna give him a wait. Let's see if he does come in during the game. But we're coming back of a decent game against Newcastle, which we should have won in my opinion. But we're coming up against a tough West Ham. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this victory. Okay, boys, we do have our first game of the episode at home at St. Mary's Stadium, and I'm really hoping to pick up our first victory of this season because next we have Man City, and if we got whipped by Man United, we're definitely getting whipped by Man City. But like I said, I know Magician corrected me. They're not uh, track suits. They're uh, training. I don't know what uh, what he said, but yes, you are correct. I am wrong. I just said track suit because it's the first thing that came to my mind. As you can see, Man City are in, I mean, second place, which we'll play next. West Ham are in 16th, so they haven't been on the best of form at the start of this season. Like in real life, which they started really well. But I think it's going to show the lineups. And yeah, I can't show that. I think I could get copyright for that. But let's go ahead and start this game. And hopefully, we get this victory because we need those three points for the first time this season. Okay, Walker Peters, win that ball. Okay, now it's Janet Bellerick. We have to find some space here against West Ham, especially... Is Antonio playing? I don't think Antonio's playing, which is really good for us, in my opinion. He's going to be a huge danger man if he did play. But who's up top, actually? Avila. Avila's up top, okay. He's he's a decent player. He's used to play for Osasuna. I'm pretty sure they signed him in this career mode. He didn't join real life. I'm 100% sure he didn't join real life, but... We win the ball with Salisu here, and now it's Chatham's, who hasn't done much, to be honest. He is probably one of my favorite players in the Southampton side in real life, and he hasn't done much. But now it's Adam Armstrong from Stuart Armstrong. Can we get our first goal with the dirty double? No, I said dirty double. I meant the double job, trouble. I probably should have named it dirty double, but it's the Armstrong. It's the Chatham's. Can we get a goal here? Ch so check. Through ball into Jared Bone. He's all alone. We have to get there. Please get there. Great save by Sam Johnson. I feel like Sam Johnson is going to have... He's going to have a lot of work this season because he's been saving us already. We're only two games in. Or three, two games in in the league season. But four hours on the ball. Come on, Levermento. Don't let me down, Levermento. I'm having you up so much in this season. Salisu, easy header. Okay, word prowse. We need to create something. It's the 20th minute. We have not created anything. Stuart Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong. Who's been getting a lot of plays so far in this episode. Now it's Adam Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong to Adam Armstrong. It's Armstrong. Running down the wing. Can you take it away? Adam Armstrong. Just have a shot, mate. Adam Armstrong. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. First penalty of the season. I'm pretty sure I'm going to give it to Warpros. I'm going to let Warpros take it. He's the captain. I don't want to take that off him. Unless someone else is better. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Warpros. Okay. First penalty of the season. Word Prowse's first chance to get his first goal this season. Can we get it? I'm actually going to put it for the top corner. Can we get the goal? Word Prowse. Easy finish. Top left. I mean, top Yeah, top left from our top right of the goalkeeper. And Word Prowse is just class, man. I'm so glad we scored that. I usually go for the bottom corners, but I want to make it entertaining for the video. And I went for the top corners. And Word Prowse puts it in. 1-0. 
at home. We're looking for our first three points in today's episode, in today's game, where Pros just slots it easily past Fabianski, and there's no chance he's saving that into the top corner. It could have been more top corner, but I'm going on the list. We do take the lead. 1-0. Come on, Ward Prowse. Declan Rice on the ball. It's Declan. Okay. Great tackle. And now it's Livermento. Livermento. I want you to do something in today's episode. I really want, want you to shock the world right now. Adam Armstrong into Livermento. Livermento, please get there. Ah, oh, no, he didn't, bro. Come on. Oh my god, what? This is the first time I hear the the lady commentary. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it, but the lady commentary is in the game. I completely forgot they added that, but now it's Livermento. Chris, we're running that wing. He's looking for that cross. Can we clear it here? Salisu, please. Okay, it's Ward Prowse. It's about to be half time. Can we create one last thing before half time? Ward Prowse through ball, and we do lose it. It should be half time, unless the ref is going to be cheeky and let them score. And yeah, he's finally let them score. It's Jared Bowen, someone we were looking into this season, but too much money, in my opinion. We couldn't afford him. Jared Bowen into Fredericks. Fredericks into Avila. Walker Peters does win it, just clear it out, and we do clear it out, and it is halftime. Now a good performance, to, in my opinion. We did get dominated the whole game. We got lucky with that penalty, but I'm pretty sure Adam Armstrong would have scored that. Great, great take by Ward Prowse, in my opinion. Like, this is the only good thing that's happened this half. He did really well. We haven't been defending too well either. We're just getting lucky that we're West Ham keep losing the ball. But let's go ahead and go to the second half, and hopefully we can continue like this and get another more goal, a couple more goals in. What am I saying? Into Vlasic. Vlasic with a brilliant through ball into four now. Livermento, come on. He needs that experience. You guys can tell he needs that experience. He's a little slow on the ball. A little slow to get to the ball as well. It's a through ball. Into Vlasic. Into Jared Bowen. <sighs> Bro. The defending. The defending is going to be absolutely tragic. Thank God you guys have not put any objectives. Don't Please don't put any defensive objectives, please. Because now I'm really good at defending. But the overall rating is really letting me down. Jared Bowen does get an easy tap in from that Avila shot. I do believe it was. No, Avila passes it into Vlasic. Vlasic shot into Jared Bowen. Easy tap in for him. It's 1-1. One, one. Come on, boys. We have to do better. They're going to rest on the ball. Okay, Levermetto. You have to be careful. Salisu, Declan Rice, Declan Rice, through ball into Avila, Levermetto, you gotta get, oh, it's easy, it's out, Levermetto picks up the ball, <gasps> what is that, that's a foul, surely, okay, it's okay, because Levermetto wins it back, it's Levermetto on the ball, ah, uh, bro, control that shit, ah, uh, you know what, we're making a sub, we're making a sub, we need, we need Nathan Taylor up in here, so we're gonna move Armstrong up top, Hudson Odoi to the right, and I know I'm just, I just want Nathan Taylor to play so bad, I think we're gonna take off, uh, Stuart Armstrong, like, let's actually put Stuart Armstrong, on this right side where Ward Prowse is, put Ward Prowse more defensive. And let's let's actually give, instead of Ramsey his debut, we're going to give Jennifer a go. He hasn't really had anything to do all season. So we're going to give him a chance here. Let's see what he can do. Levermento, great tackle, Levermento. And now it's Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi, dude, I'm, why can anybody, not a single player on the pitch, for, wearing a red kit, make a pass, bro? What is this? All season, this has been happening. These first three episodes, just nobody can make a goddamn pass, bro. Who does find Tommy Suchek? Tommy Suchek, be careful. No, 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 no. <gasps> Great save by Johnson. Oh, we did get lucky there. Uh, Crow, I do believe his name is. They're really good signings, but it's Nathan Teller on the ball. Teller. Oh, it's still Teller, the youngster. Nathan Teller. Teller. Who does find Adam Armstrong? Armstrong on the ball. I do see whoever that is. Is that Choi? Yes, it's Ch Cho. Sorry, Choi. It's Hudson Odoi. It's still Hudson Odoi. What is he going to do here? Hudson Odoi is going to cut inside like last episode. It's Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi, create something. Have a shot, Hudson Odoi. And it's a great save by Fabianski. That's like our first shot ever since the penalty. And Hudson Odoi does really well on that right side. Maybe we should have kept him there. But we do have a corner. It's seven minutes left. Are we actually going to get another draw here? Cross into Adam Armstrong. And nobody wins it there. One minute left to play. Can we get a last minute goal here? Can we make absolute scenes here at St. Mary's Stadium? And now it's Jenna on the ball. Jenna Bowen to Ward Prowse. I do see Adam Armstrong. And now it's Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong on the ball. What is he going to do here? It's still Adam Armstrong. He's just walking. Adam Armstrong. Have a shot, Adam Armstrong. And it is blocked. And that should be the final whistle. <sighs> I was really hoping for some space to open up while I was walking. But it wasn't to be. We pick up another draw at home, bro. We're just draw galore here in this season. Three draws, one loss so far this season. And really, not, it's a bad performance. We only had like two shots. That World Prowse goal did help us out a lot. But... Let's go ahead and go to our next game and see if we can get that victory against Man City, which is probably not going to happen. With that draw against West Ham, we do move up to 17th place out of that relegation zone. I'm pretty sure... No, everyone has played, so that's pretty good for us. But like I said, we do have Man City next, so I'll see you guys at the game. Okay, we do have our game against Man City, and guys, I'm really scared. I'm really nervous for this game. I'm probably going to get whooped again. Second place, Man City. And you know what? For today's game, I'm going to go bold. I'm going to go bold. <laughs> Anyways, I just imagined the joke in my head. You guys will see why I'm laughing, but... I'm going to go bold. I'm going to drop Adams. I know it's the start of the season, but he hasn't really been performing. And I, we need some serious, some serious. And I think Nathan Teller came on and absolutely just... I mean, he didn't really do anything, but Nathan Teller, when I've used him, he's done really well behind the scenes. You guys haven't really seen too much. And 
I think that's the only change. I do want to start Nathan Tello, which is really risky because he is very young. Chad Adams has more experience than him, but I'm going to go for it. Give Nathan Tello that chance. He is the Wonder Kid in this series. I don't care if I called Hudson Odoi 23 million Wonder Kid in my title, but I, I really want to see how Nathan Tello really does, especially because we have an objective with him. We have to do well with him, but let's go ahead and get to this game and hopefully we can pick up that victory. Okay, here we are against Man City away from home. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that we are in the Etihad Stadium. Yeah, we are. The, if you guys didn't see, they sent Alex Witzel, which is probably a good signing for to replace Fernandinho. Probably not the best replacement they could have gotten, but it's a good replacement nonetheless. I'm not sure who else to sign. If they sign a striker, I think it's over. But I'm pretty sure I saw Gabriel Jesus starting for them. But look at their brain, man. Why do they not have the jackets on? Why are they, like, Man City the only team that I've come up against without the jackets? But... It's okay, the kid's fresh. De Bruyne, probably one of my favorite players in the Premier League. Probably the favorite player. No, we're probably my favorite player in the Premier League. But yeah, we're probably in the back. I don't know if you can see, but tough game. Tough. I think we have to focus more on defending than attacking. But if we can create that one creative spark and just defend the whole game, we can pick up these three points. But look at look at that side, man. Look at that talent they do have. It's going to be very difficult to get any sort of points or any goal, any shot at goal even against this side. But let's go ahead and start this game. And let's see if we can get the dub. Already four minutes in, it's so Madison is already on the ball. It's a true ball. Okay, uh, no, <laughs> dude, this game. I'm already tired of this game. Why am I still playing this game? I pass it and I click X to clear it out, and he doesn't click. Look, look, horrible defending from the start. Horrible defending. I do pass it back by accident, and then I click, I spam X to clear it out. And Sam Johnston just, what are you doing, man? You've been playing, you got player of the episode twice already, and you just can't get rid of that. But we're already 1-0 down in the 6th minute, and I'm not liking this, bro. This actually better not be a 9-0, okay? I know I did say the menu might have been a 9-0, but we didn't. We got lucky, and we didn't lose 9-0. We might actually lose 9-0 here. Walker Peters down the wing. Walker Peters. 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 And to Nathan Again with the passing, bro. What is this passing? I, I'm playing too high up. I need to calm down. Like I said, I need to focus more on defending. That way we don't get whooped, and they're already on the attack again. And it's Jack Grealish on the ball. <sighs> so do you see? Clear it out. Okay, this time Johnstone clears it out, and now it's Ward Prowse on the ball. And he loses it, of course, because we can't make a single pass in this series. De Bruyne, Grealish. Great interception by Livermento. Walker Peters lets it run, and now it's Romeo on the ball. I do see Nathan Teller. It's now Nathan Teller. Nathan Teller running down that wing. It's Nathan Teller. I do see Stuart Armstrong in the middle. Can you please get there? Dude, I'm telling you, this passing is broken. Just because he's low rated, it doesn't let him compete a single pass. That's so dumb about this game, but now they're on their counter-attack here. And now it's Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish into Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. We have to be careful here. Into De Bruyne. De <laughs> oh my god, bro. What is going on? Dude, if you guys, I swear. Go to my FIFA 21 videos. I absolutely destroy everyone before the sliders. Even then, I was winning almost every game, man. Dude, we're 2 0 down in like the 15th minute. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not taking this. I'm going to turn this game around. Trust me. Trust me. I, look, I'm good at this game. I promise you guys. I'm, I'm really good at this game. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. Benarek. Come on, Benarek. Do your magic. Yes, Benarek. Okay, it's Nathan Teller. Please get there. Oh, there's a defender there. Okay, Nathan Teller, you have all that space. Just take it. Okay, we have to be careful because he's going to. He's 67 already. It might break him. Nathan Teller. And just. <laughs> Dude, I swear. It's the, it's the, it's the game mechanics. Just because he's 67 rated, he can't make a decent pass. That's so dumb, bro. Like, it's like the same thing with Lever Mental. That's why he loses so many balls so far in this series. But we can't do anything about it. Just try to keep, like, try to score or something. Zinchenko on the ball again. It's Zinchenko. De Bruyne. Great tackle by Salisu. Great tackle by Salisu. I don't care if that's a foul. Romeo. Stuart Armstrong. Find out Armstrong. Dude, nobody can make a goddamn pass. Nobody. Absolutely no one can make a pass. I'm so frustrated already. Oh my god. We're not gonna get a single win to like January. We're gonna get relegated. I'm gonna get fired, bro. I, I better not get fired on my first ever Southampton series. Livermento. Sir Armstrong. Into Ward Prowse. I do see Hudson Odoi and he might be. He is offside, bro. Oh my god. Ward Prowse took a little too long to win that ball. Gabby Jesus into De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Oh, he's gonna have an easy goal here. I'm, someone's gonna score. Gabby Jesus. Sam Johnstone. Oh my god. If we didn't have Sam Johnstone on goal, surely it'd be like 20 0. In every game we play. Maris to take the corner. Please clear it out. Yes, Bernarek. Okay, the ball's not out. Clear it out. Peters. <laughs> Armstrong. Great through ball to Adam Armstrong. It's Adam Armstrong. Adam Armstrong against the world. Adam Armstrong. Nah, it's, it was not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Okay, it's about to be half time. Can we get a last minute attack? No, we just can't. We can't do anything against this Man City side, bro. Gabriel Jesus. They're probably going to score here before halftime. No, okay. Thank God. You know what? I'm making a change. At this point, I'm pretty sure. No, I'm not going to say the game is lost, but I have a feeling. 
I have a feeling that this man is going to change the game. Yes, boys. He's coming on for his debut. Probably the biggest mistake I'm making this season. Jacob Ramsey, the next Jack Grealish. He's going to outclass Jack Grealish in this game because Jack Grealish is playing. The next Jack Grealish is coming on for Stuart Armstrong, who's been doing absolutely horrible in this episode so far. So let's see if Jacob Ramsey can have an amazing debut here in the Saints shirt. Ah, oh, it's Jacob Ramsey already in the ball, bro. Brilliant turn. Pass into... Bro, he can... What is this game? He can't make a one-yard pass. He couldn't complete a one-yard pass, bro. Oh, my... Dude, this game is broken. This game's... He can't make a one-yard pass because he's 68 rated. Oh, my God. They better update this game as soon as possible. It's absolutely disgusting that how this game is made. Marker Peters into Benrick. Benrick on the ball. Come on. We have to create something. We, we have to score a goal, okay? At this point, I don't want to win anymore. I just want to score because I don't want to get destroyed. Ramsey, Jacob Ramsey, into Hudson Adoy. Great pass into Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy, please get a goal. Make it 2 1, Hudson Adoy. 2 1. Oh, it's a great save by Addison. I thought that was low key going in. We finally get our first shot of the game. Can we get a goal from this corner? Word pass with the early cross, and nope, no one's going to head to it. Edison, easy save. Uh oh. Brilliant through ball into Riyad Mahrez. I'm just glad Sterling isn't playing. Or Phil Foden. Phil Foden's absolutely disgusting this game. Mahrez, Mahrez, he's going to score this. <gasps> great tackle by Jan Benarek. The goal. And now it's Romeo on the counter attack. And of course, we lose the ball because nobody in this team can pass a goddamn ball. And now it's De Bruyne. He's going to pull an amazing cross. Watch his watch. Okay, he does it. Jack Grealish on the ball. Oh, Sam Johnstone, bro. Sam Johnstone is saving us from this embarrassment of like an 8-0 or something. Cancelo. Gabby Jesus. Raheem Sterling. Easy ball to De Bruyne. And it's just a banger, isn't it? It's just going to be a banger. It's De Bruyne. It's, of course, it's going to be a banger. And I think we've lost this game. It's confirmed. But there's still like 22. No. 22 minutes left to play. It's not looking likely for a win, boys. <laughs> Dude, I can't. Oh, Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey, again, creating something. Looking to create something. Jacob Ramsey. Into Adam. Finally, he makes a pass. Adam Armstrong. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. This game. This game is absolutely gross. What is this game? I can't make a pass. Why can't I make a pass ever? Like, ever. Not even with, like, my best players, I can make a pass. Like, Word Prowse sometimes can't even make a pass. It's so stupid. Gabriel Jesus on the ball. Gabriel Jesus. Benarek. Brilliant tackle. Benarek. I'm telling you, Benarek has been the best player of this episode. And, yeah, he loses the ball once again. <laughs> 10 minutes left to play. Okay, at this point, just like, let's not concede a goal in the last 10 minutes of the game. Let's not make it 4-0. Let's let Man United be the highest result so far this season. Jacob Ramsey with a brilliant pass, and now it's Romeo. At this point, Romeo is not going to create anything, so I have to get rid of it right now. Romeo. Romeo. <gasps> Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey. Jacob Ramsey. Come back. Jacob Ramsey. Finish this on your debut. <gasps> he got a debut. They go. He actually did. Oh, my God. The super sub. The new signing, 3 million, the next Jack Grealish, guaranteed. What a goal, Jacob Ramsey. Oh, my God. I, you, can't, you can't write this. You can't script this, bro. Like, Jacob Ramsey. I said, oh, it wasn't creating thing. And he got the assist. He cuts back. And on his left foot, I think he's right footed, too. But he gets a goal. First goal of the season on his debut. And, oh, my God, boys. You know what? I'm happy. I, I take that as a victory. I, I joked around saying that he was going to be the next Jack Grealish. And, like, he was going to destroy this game. And he actually scored. Did Jack Grealish score in this game? I don't, I don't think so. Um, to, be, um, to be fair, he's probably going to score right now. Now that I'm making fun of him. Oh, they took him out. Okay, we're Gucci. He's not going to score. So, yes. Jacob Ramsey, one. Grealish, zero. Cho, get it to Cho. Please, get it to Cho. Ah, oh, nah. The game's over. We got to go. And that's an achievement against Man City, okay? I don't care what you guys say in the comments. Batter me if you want. We got to go against Man City. Jacob Ramsey, one. Grealish, zero. That, that's the title. Nice kidding. That's not the title. But the bring out a hat trick? Of course. The best player in the Premier League. I don't care what y'all say. He's the best. No, actually, Ronaldo is the best, Premier, best player in the Premier League now. But he's the second best now. He was the best last year. He's better than Bruno. Bruno fans, you guys. Bruno, he's not better than Kevin De Bruyne. But we do pick up a loss 1 0. So the question is do we want to play this Tottenham game? Because if we do want to play this Tottenham game, I will save it for the next episode. I think I do want to play this Tottenham game. So at the moment, I'm going to be doing. Two episodes, two two episodes, two games per episode, so I can leave extended highlights this time because you guys usually see just the goals, which is, I, I, it gets pretty boring. Now that I'm having better reactions, now that it's live, I'm gonna leave it two games per episode for now, unless you guys decide on something else. Because I feel if we do three games, it's gonna be thirty minutes, and I really don't want it to be thirty minutes. I want it to be twenty-five or less. Hopefully, I'm gonna leave it twenty-five or less, but. Two games per episode for now, unless you guys decide on something else. Um, if you guys want to go back to half, so like they say. Two games played and the two games sim. I really don't want to sim any games, especially at the start of the season. But if you guys do want me to sim, I'll start simming. Especially in the cup. I, I want to see what we can do in the cup. But that's basically the end of the episode. Disaster of an episode. We lost both. No, we tied. Okay, not a disaster. We got a draw against West Ham. Pretty decent. But like, 
performance wise, we played so bad. Like that West Ham, West Ham deserved that win too, in my opinion. They did play way better than us and Man City, we got whooped. Jacob Ramsey with the debut day goal though. Shout out to Jacob Ramsey. But the objectives will be shown at the start of every episode, so you guys will not see it right now. But basically, okay, a couple questions to ask. So you guys can start leaving forfeits for the um for the objectives by the end of the season because you guys are crazy. 22 goals with Adam Armstrong, pfft, not gonna happen. But we'll see what happens throughout the season. And what pros 12 assists. Even the, the the seven goals between both Armstrongs, I believe it's not going to happen. We're probably not going to complete any. Also, we have that one last objective for you guys to decide. So make sure to leave them down below. Like I said, transfer suggestions for January if you guys want. So we can go ahead and scout them. Um, if you guys want to see a change of formation, let me know because it's it's kind of, it's been all right. I didn't, but like I said, it's something we're not the best team in the world. One day we'll be, trust me. So it's pretty realistic that we're getting these results. But I'm really hoping to pick up a little bit for him. Try to finish mid-table maybe Europa League positions but I think that's that's a that's a pipe dream which probably not happen but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy make sure you click that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell get notified anytime we do post any new viewers all the new viewers please join my discord I'm very active on there if you guys just want to talk or any ideas you may have I, there's a bunch of uh, discord channels I do have that are available for you guys and just thank you guys so much for the support like I said the support has been unreal these past four days that I've uploaded these videos but like I said, the like goal now is 12 likes for this episode. Make sure to like that button so we can reach the objective. Make sure to do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Joy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day, and chamos.